What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. And um, I didn't want to talk about this, this shit no more. I knew it wasn't going to happen. I knew it wasn't going to happen in the beginning, the first fucking video I made, when I said um, that... Uh, Grump that uh, Rigadal called out uh, Loman Kachinko. I just made that video just just in case, just to see what what would happen. You know, let everybody know that Rigadal was um, interested in fighting Loman Kachinko. But I knew it wasn't gonna happen because when you look at when you look at all the stuff that they've been talking about back and forth on Twitter, the shit is asinine. <laughs> and when you look at um, when you look at um, the fact that they were supposed to fight, what, a year, two years ago or something like that, man, it's, it's bullshit. Like, it's, it's, it, <laughs> it feels ridiculous. Like, slam, slam like that. It feels like your boy, Loma Kachiko, which everybody is saying is the great, he's the greatest, he's the Matrix. This motherfucker duck is, I can say he's the Matrix because he's ducking like a motherfucker right now, yo. He's, he's ducking. He's ducking at an all-time low that Neo couldn't even do in the Matrix. That shit that he's doing is ridiculous. Now the people that wanna, the people that wanna sit there and, and claim and think that oh yeah he's not ducking him, he's just he couldn't find. If y'all believe in all the shit that he's saying out of his mouth, y'all are ridiculous. He's, I mean, he he contradicts himself a lot. Do you want to fight the motherfucker or not? Okay, now. Loma Kachinko is going to move up to 135, and um, it's it's because he wants to fight Mikey Garcia. Uh, he was asked about a pound for pound, um, and he said he wasn't the, he wasn't um, even on that that pound for pound list. Like he's he thinks that he should he he needs to fight some champs. And I mean, and I agree. Everybody else should agree. Also, you can't be on a pound for pound list if you ain't fighting no champs. I mean, damn. If, if that's the case, then that pound for pound list is hella long. You know what I mean? Who knows who the fuck is at the top of it? But, I mean, you got to fight somebody. He hasn't fought nobody to be on the pound for pound list. To be at the top five of the pound for pound list. People be putting him at number one, number two, bruh. How? He don't, He wouldn't even put himself at the top of the list. So, I mean, y'all... If y'all fans really think really think Lomo Loma Kachiko knows boxing and you're disagreeing, one of y'all don't know boxing. It gotta be either the fighter or the fans. But personally, if he fought Mikey Garcia, I got Mikey Mikey Garcia beating him. Like I'm look, when it comes to fights, when it comes to me, in my opinion, if somebody with if somebody that, you know, punched very well, has good good foot movement, but you know, it felt like a pillow when you hit when they punching you in the face, and then they go against somebody with a knockout rating of over sixty percent. I'm never gonna pick the person with with good foot movement to win that fight. I'm not going to because he can hit the person. He can hit the guy with punching power 112 times. He's gonna stay on his feet. But all the guy with the punching power need to do is hit you one good time to stun you. Once he get one good combination, you're hitting the floor. And since since Loma Kachiko don't really have knockout power, if he gets keeps getting knocked to the floor in a fight, you're gonna lose on the scorecards. Even if you don't get knocked out or TKO'd, you're gonna lose on the scorecards. So I got Mikey Garcia beating him if he does fight Mikey Garcia. But he says that um, he don't need Rick and Dow. You know. Uh, he needs, he needs me, you know, but he needs to understand that if I'm going to, if I'm going to fight him, if we're going to step in the ring, I'm going to run him over just like a tank. Now I can see him saying that because he's the bigger fighter. People are saying that he's a lot bigger than, uh, Rick and Dow. I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Rick and Dow's moving up two weight classes just to fight Loman and Chico. Well, he was trying to just to fight Loma Kachinko. And he should be the bigger fighter because of that reason all by itself. But it's only a two-inch difference. Rick and Dow's 5'4", okay? Loma Kachinko's 5'6". That's not big. That's not a big difference. It's two inches in height. But when you look at the reach, what really matters? Because height really don't matter. The reach matters more. Rick and Dow has, has, has the reach advantage. Now, I'd rather be two inches shorter than a motherfucker, but have two inches of reach on his ass any day than some damn height. 
If that's the case, then why aren't you fighting um, Rigondeaux? Why not? If that's the case, and you really want you want to please fans, you support what they want, then fight Rigondeaux. Get it the fuck over with. What the fuck is up with all of these fighters, man, that always claim they can just run over a motherfucker but won't do it? This is what you get paid to do. You get paid to fight. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't even get paid to fight, but let me be arguing back and forth on fucking social media with somebody that actually wants to fight me, bro. I'm going to beat that ass. I already know that I already, if, if you already know that you're going to win, what, what do you have to lose? Huh? What do you have to lose? But I guess it's a lot since your ass ain't budging. You ain't making, you're not making a move. You're running from Rigondale, yo. You're running. He says all of this shit on Twitter and in interviews. Lil McChinko says all this shit. So why not fight him? You know, why? if you know you're going to run him over, you know, everybody's talking about it. And he said on, he said in the same article that, um, he supports what fans want. If, man, you know, Rigondeau says he wanted to fight you. I think it was what, 122 or something like that. He was winning. There's a, a 126 and, um, then there's a 130. Or something like it's something like that. I don't even remember off the top of my head. But ringing down, you you got on the internet and uh, you said move up to one thirty. Like ringing down wasn't going to do it. Like that was the last thing you had to say to get ringing down behind you. But ringing down, you know, he rose to the occasion. He said, "All right, I'll fight you at one thirty. So why is it that you run that you pick a fight with somebody else? Don't fight ringing down and then move up five more pounds, bruh. You do have a fight. You got a fight at 130. Even though this fight should be made at a catch weight, catch weight at 160, 126 or 128. No. You want him to come all the way up to 130. He was going to do it and then you move to 135. It seems like your ass is playing an electric slide with fucking rigging down. Rigging down is five beats behind your motherfucking ass. Come on, yo. Let's dose you dough. Let's do this. <sighs> but okay. Two days ago, I seen a video on YouTube. Um, he told a reporter... The reporter asked him about Rigondeaux, if he wanted that fight, if he was going to make it happen and all of that. He says, I quote, of course I want to fight him. I will do anything in my hands to make this fight happen. And caliber fights don't happen that quick. Okay, if you said that shit two days ago, what the fuck are you moving up to 135 for? If you really want to fight this motherfucker, why all the fuckery? What are you talking about on social media? What are you talking about on in these interviews? What the fuck do you really want, Lil Mikachiko? I told you what the fans want. Everybody's been saying, making videos. We want Lil Mikachiko versus Rigondeaux. You hear me? I don't even know if I'm going to talk about this shit again because the shit's just, it's, it's dumb. It doesn't make any sense to me. But always like and subscribe to the channel, man. Peace out. Oh, and, um... Damn, I almost forgot. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a link in the in the description below um, on the uh, the interview where he said that shit about him trying to make this fight happen and wanting to fight Ringadown. I'm gonna put it below in the in the description.